China's recent Shijian-19 satellite mission has been making waves in the world of space exploration. Launched from the Gobi Desert and recovered just two weeks later, Shijian-19 isn't just any satellite. It's a groundbreaking, reusable, and retrievable platform designed to expand our understanding of what can be achieved in low Earth orbit. Unlike traditional satellites that stay in orbit, Shijian-19 returned to Earth with its cargo of scientific experiments, offering a rare and valuable opportunity to directly analyze the results of space-based research. Let's dive into how Shijian-19 is shaping the future and why this mission is a leap forward for global scientific innovation. The Shijian-19 mission was designed with clear, ambitious goals to test China's next-generation reusable satellite technology and create a platform for advanced scientific research. By sending a satellite that can return safely to Earth, China's space program is opening the door to experiments that are otherwise impossible on permanent orbiters or on the Tiangong space station, which lacks retrieval capabilities. Shijian-19's successful return is a breakthrough not only for China, but for global scientific exploration. So, what exactly was Shijian-19 carrying? The payload was incredibly diverse, representing over 20 categories of experiments and materials. There were thousands of plant seeds, microbial cultures, advanced electronic components, and experimental space technologies. Each one of these payloads was carefully chosen to leverage the unique environment of space specifically, the effects of microgravity and cosmic radiation. These conditions allow scientists to test materials and biological specimens in ways that are impossible on Earth. But this isn't just about scientific curiosity, the mission is also about practical innovation. For example, Shijian 19 carried electron components crucial for future space technology, testing their resilience in space to support advancements in satellite manufacturing. By analyzing how these components fare under cosmic conditions, scientists gain critical data that will drive the development of more resilient, efficient technology. Similarly, materials for space technology experiments were also tested, allowing China to build more capable and durable tools for future space missions. And it doesn't stop there. This satellite was also a collaborative mission. Representatives from countries like Thailand and Pakistan had scientific interests on board, showing China's commitment to working with international partners. Shijian 19's success opens up potential for even broader collaborations in the future, paving the way for scientists worldwide to access the benefits of space-based research. It's clear that Shijian 19 wasn't just about exploring space, it was about expanding scientific boundaries and fostering international cooperation in pursuit of knowledge. One of the most innovative aspects of the Shijian-19 mission lies in its role in space breeding a concept that may sound futuristic, but has real-world impacts, especially in agriculture. Space breeding takes advantage of the unique conditions of space, where seeds and plants are exposed to cosmic radiation and microgravity. These factors can cause genetic mutations, and while the term mutation may sound ominous, in agriculture, mutations can lead to resilient and high-yield crops, essential in addressing global food security issues. China has a long history of sending seeds to space, but Shijian-19 takes it to a whole new level. Over 1,800 plant materials were sent on this mission, from staple crops like rice and wheat to other resilient varieties, all with the goal of encouraging beneficial genetic variations. In collaboration with international partners, including Thailand and Pakistan, China is using Shijian-19 to test seeds that could produce crops better adapted to extreme weather and soil conditions. This method provides a shortcut to cultivating crops that may take decades to develop through traditional breeding. Imagine a world where wheat can withstand drought, rice can grow in salty soil, and beans are more resistant to pests. By exposing seeds to the cosmic rays in space, scientists can accelerate these genetic modifications, bringing new varieties of crops to market faster. After retrieval, scientists carefully study which genetic changes occurred in each sample, selecting only those with advantageous traits. These seeds can then be crossbred with existing varieties, creating stronger, more resilient crops. What's even more impressive is the scale and the international cooperation involved. Scientists are not just focusing on one or two crops, but are tackling a wide range of agricultural products from multiple countries, creating a new global gene pool. 
Given the increasing challenges of climate change and food scarcity, Xi Jinping's contributions could play a critical role in helping secure the world's food supply. This isn't just a scientific experiment, it's a glimpse into a future where space may hold the answers to some of our biggest challenges on Earth. Beyond agriculture, Xi Jinping has opened up avenues for several groundbreaking technological experiments with applications that extend far beyond Earth. The satellite carried and tested new age technologies from microgravity hydrogen production to wireless power transmission. Each of these technologies could have a profound impact, not just for space missions, but also for industries here on Earth. Take, for instance, the microgravity environment that enables cleaner and more efficient hydrogen production. Hydrogen is a critical component for various energy applications, including fuel cells. By experimenting in space, scientists can explore ways to produce hydrogen more effectively, leading to potential advancements in sustainable energy. In a time when energy needs are only increasing, Xi Jinping's contribution to cleaner hydrogen production could be a game changer. Xi Jinping also explored low-frequency magnetic communications, a technology that could revolutionize how we communicate in space and even in remote areas on Earth. With limited communication options in deep space, innovations like this could enhance connectivity, ensuring stable links with satellites, space stations, and perhaps even future lunar or Martian bases. Another fascinating experiment was in wireless power transmission. Imagine a future where satellites transmit power wirelessly to Earth or to other space-based platforms. Such technology could be used to charge rovers, spacecraft, or even terrestrial equipment without physical connections. The implications are vast, from reducing reliance on cables in hazardous environments to supporting power needs on the Moon or Mars. By testing these technologies on Xi Jinping, China has set the stage for new innovations in both space exploration and everyday life on Earth. This reusable satellite platform allows for more frequent, lower-cost experiments, meaning that we could see rapid advancements in these fields. The promise of Xi Jinping goes beyond mere technology. It's about transforming space into a practical testing ground that fuels our next generation of innovations on Earth and beyond. As Xi Jinping's journey comes full circle, it leaves us with insights and possibilities that are nothing short of revolutionary. This mission marks a turning point in the use of reusable satellites, opening up space as a fertile testing ground for scientific innovation across disciplines. From revolutionizing agriculture through space breeding to pioneering new technologies in hydrogen production, communications, and wireless power. Xi Jinping offers a glimpse into a future where the cosmos is more than just a frontier to explore, it's a laboratory for solving some of Earth's biggest challenges. The significance of this mission isn't just in the science but in its approach to collaboration, bringing together scientists from multiple countries in a united quest for knowledge. Xi Jinping's achievements will likely inspire more international partnerships, more daring experiments, and a greater understanding of how space can impact life on Earth. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.